Greetings, Tinker Administrators. Now, if you are a Tinker Admin, you're a little bit different than a teacher. You have a little bit more responsibility, and you will have the Administrator Dashboard. That means you can add teachers and students and manage your whole school in the Teacher Tinker Administrator uh, Dashboard. So we're gonna show you how to roster uh, your students and teachers, so let's begin. Okay, Tinker Administrators. So if you are a Tinker Administrator, that means you have this over here, which is the Administrator Dashboard. Um, believe it or not, there are teachers out there that don't have that, and then they just have resources and courses. But we are gonna go over here uh, because your job is to set up all of your teachers for your school. Uh, and that's gonna make it really easy for them to then add students and create classes uh, for, your, uh, for your school. There's a couple ways to do this. We're gonna show you the way uh, that will allow you to import your teachers and then have your classrooms, your, your teachers actually uh, create student accounts. This is gonna make things a little bit easier for you. Uh, and we're gonna show you how to do this in two different ways. So some of you are Google schools, some of you are just non-Google schools, uh, and we have two, two, two different ways we do that. So uh, if you are a non-Google school, you can click here and just um, basically you're going to create a, an S, a CSV, and we've given you a CSV template or a Google Sheet to open up. Uh, so you can do that in, in either way, however you like to do that. If you click on the CSV template, it will download. Uh, and then if you click on the Google Sheet, uh, uh, you can take a look at what that looks like here. So this is what a, if I'm going to do a non-Google school, you'll see it's a Tinker Teacher uh, CSV. And I will need first name, last name, email, and password. If I'm a Google school, I'm gonna to need to fill out just the email because Google will pass through all that information for us uh, and you don't have to fill any of that out. It's much easier. Uh, so those are your choices there. Uh, and it's actually fairly straight up, straightforward. Uh, if I went to my, my rostering sh sheet here, I have a Google Teachers template, which basically this is my spreadsheet software. I'm just gonna put in my teacher email down the line. And then if I wanted to do this uh, for a non-Google school, uh, you'll see here it's first name, last name, teacher email, and password right there. Uh, so I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna fill out some of this info and we're gonna come back in just a second. Okay, so the next step here is, remember we, uh, uh, are on the teachers page. We downloaded the CSV or opened up the Google Sheet for uh, the type of teachers that we have. Uh, and I am on, uh, I have done this a couple ways. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you, this is what the Tinker Teacher uh, spreadsheet looks like. And I'm filling this out on Google Sheets. You can do this in Google Sheets if you like, uh, regardless if you're a Google teacher or not, but um, this is what that looks like. And then on a regular spreadsheet, program. Um, I use uh, numbers in, in Mac, but it doesn't matter. You see it's basically the same information. Uh, by the way, you can then delete these instructions. Uh, anything with a hash there will not get imported. And then you can start adding your teachers to that list. Same thing over here. You can delete those instructions and then uh, add more teachers here. Uh, then on the Google side, right, if you're a Google teacher, same thing here. Uh, on uh, the Google spreadsheet, you're just going to see email addresses, and you can delete those instructions and just add more of your uh, teacher emails. And then in my spreadsheet program, it's sa same thing here. Um, I can delete those instructions there uh, and then add more of my teachers as I go down. And then the last part of this, once you have your spreadsheets filled out, depending, uh, you know, again, whether you're using Google Sheets or you're just using your uh, software, your spreadsheet software, you need to export those as a CSV. Uh, so you can export that because that is what we're going to upload in a moment. Um, yeah, I'm going to replace that because I've done that already. And then if you're uh, using the Google Sheet, you can then uh, do this. Again, I'm going to delete these instructions and then I'm going to download as a CSV right there. Uh, and that is what we will upload here in just a moment. A 
Okay, so if you are a Google school, same thing, basically, we're just gonna import multiple, choose the school Google account, and we're gonna upload our CSV with our school emails, uh, school gmails in there. Let's upload it. Great, we got the green light. There's six new teachers found. Let's import and bonus. So we've got all of our teachers here uh, and we are pretty much ready for them to teach, but I'm going to then give you a little more instruction and tell you what their job is next. Okay, so remember this is the quick start guide. Your next job as a Tinker Admin is going to tell your teachers to go to the teacher quick start guide. Uh, and we actually have a video series for them. Their job is going to be uh, to watch these videos. They're very short. They are going to create their classrooms and add their students on their own. Uh, and actually this, it's like, like it says, four minutes only takes a couple seconds for them. Uh, and then if they use Google Classroom, I have some ins uh, extra instruction for them there. And then uh, there's a, a couple more videos here about managing their classes uh, as well. So um, that is your next job. Uh, and that is to send them to this video and I'll put the link right here. It's go tinker uh, slash teacher quick start. Now, if you did want to do everything for them, um, there would be a way for you to do that. And I'm only going to show you this uh, very quickly. I'm not going to get into detail because that it wouldn't be quick. Uh, but if you wanted to create uh, and, and upload a CSV for your entire school, um, you could do that with student accounts and everything. Um, that would be the, uh, um, the uh, long start <laughs> uh, guide. So I'll just show you what like the Google Sheet looks like for that. But uh, uh, when you make a copy uh, and then you can actually do all your teachers, all your students, uh, at once and you would have to create classes for them and students as well. So this is the Google version of creating accounts for teachers and students uh, and you're putting them into a class and then if you do this for uh, non-Google accounts uh, it's going to look like this. So this is just a lot more uh, detailed. So. Um, teacher email, classes, first name, last name, student login, and then passwords. Similar to before, but uh, now you can create student and teacher accounts all in one fell swoop. But it follows the same guidelines. When you're ready and you've done your, uh, your CSV, you're going to drag it here and you're going to upload. Um, but I, I do, uh, you know, I will just caution you. I think that doing it the uh, way that I've, we've shown you for the quick start guide, just uploading the teachers, then sending them to the quick start guide, I think is gonna be great for everybody. Uh, and if you have any questions or, or problems, you can always just email support and they'll help you and your teachers uh, get going. So, and there you have it, Tinker Administrators, you are now on your way to uh, uploading your teachers and then sending them to the proper resources for adding students and assigning lessons. So have fun. And don't forget, go to tinker.com slash training to learn more. We're doing every day, we're doing free and uh, recorded webinars you can jump into. And then when you wanna share a little bit about what's happening at your school, tag us with Go Tinker on Twitter. We would love to see what your kids are uh, making. So thanks again and have fun.